Hey, what's up everyone? This is King Crypto. Uh, I just want to make a quick video talking about the cryptocurrency flash crash. Uh -oh. uh, yeah, 20% of most of the cryptos have uh, essentially been wiped out yesterday night into today. Uh, Bitcoin has taken quite a hit with um, its key support line being uh, crossed. And what happens is a situation like this when when Bitcoin has um, key resistance like at this level holding the whole thing together and that crosses, that causes a lot of uh, crypto bot, a lot of stop losses being uh, triggered. And that causes an inevitable feedback loop of um, bots selling because a lot of these accounts have that feature. So that's why we saw such a heavy duty crash, I think, in, in the time that we saw it. And it was essentially one hour, 20% loss. That's really crazy. But that, that's how Bitcoin is, man. That's, that's the name of the game. That's, that's part of uh, what we signed up for. We signed up for the fun signed up for the crazy gains, but it's inevitably going to be volatile in both directions. We can't help that, you know? And in a situation like this, it's good to have Bitcoin and just invest, just have it, you know, in the side. Think of it like gold, right? As a store of value. Think in your own mindset, like what is Bitcoin to me? Like, is it, what is crypto? Will it be less prevalent in 10 years or more prevalent? I mean, honestly, answer that like 20 years. Will crypto be extinct in 20 years or will it be more useful? Right. If you do the perspective thing, right, it's not hard to see in your own head like, well, it makes more sense that it would be more valuable in the future than it'd be less valuable. Um, like this has happened so many times in the past with crypto. I mean, I'd like to point out some uh, times, like March 2020, we saw a 30% decrease at least from 8,000 to 5,000. And like when I'm saying this, this is 8,000 to 5,000. That was like the end. Crypto is dead at 8,000 to 5,000. Now we're at $47,000 of Bitcoin. We've come a long way. Uh, and it's easy for me to say because I've held Bitcoin since uh, 2017. But the thing is, because now I'm a long term, th this is an investment now. So I'm seeing the fruits of that logic play out. And I will continue to see that as I hold and not fall for these uh, flash crashes and potential market manipulation trying to shake out people that don't know how the elite play. Um, they don't want you to have Bitcoin. They don't want you to have any, you know, they want everything. They want more and more and more. And they're going to get it if you sell it, especially in a situation like that. Um, okay. Also, we have February 2018, 8,800 8, to 6,600. Upsetting. Very bad back then. That was ups. That was really hard to bear. And th this is how it goes. Truly, this is how it goes. I would say it's not nowadays. I'm not. I'm not gonna bite my tongue, but I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. It feels not as bad as what I'm used to. So, yeah, the key resistance has broken down, and you know we could see we could see the price go this way. See it go this way. <laughs> Or we can see it go this way, which is probably not likely because uh, this is just too heavy. At this point, we have to wait, I think, for momentum to occur. And that only that works with time. So how these things play out is uh, momentum, momentum. Now, it's not like the best news, but it's not the worst news because time will essentially fix the markets. Um, and on a brighter note, because the El Salvador stacks 150 Bitcoin after Bitcoin price crash below 50K, that's, that's like the idea of dollar cost averaging. When you buy Bitcoin back in a situation like that, you know, you're buying it on sale. Now, 
yeah, the sale could get even more on sale. I don't know. But just as an investment tactic, it's wise because eventually, eventually it will pay off. It will be higher. There will be a time where people will say Bitcoin could never get to 40K again. Bitcoin could never get to 80K again. Just mark my words, it will happen. It might not be today, next month, next year, but it's coming. Uh, as long as you believe in cryptocurrency like I do, and it's not like I believe like I'm a cult. Like I just know that this technology has so much more potential. There's so much more that it is capable of doing and will do in the future. It will be more prevalent five to 10 years than less prevalent five to 10 years. And that logic is why I continue to hold it. And um, yeah, that's just me. No financial advice here. Don't listen to anything I say. Um, just be aware that this is normal. And if you really want to be a part of the crypto game, this is part of the game. Part of the game is pain. <laughs> but, you know, just uh, just hold on. It'll be all right. And like next week, it'll be something else, right? That's how irrational this stuff works. Maybe next week, uh, some good news will happen. Bitcoin will just blow up again. Uh, I don't get into the technicals right now. I just want to make this as a mindset video more. And uh, things will be okay. I mean, I one more thing. If you look at the inflation calculator, just in from last year to this year, uh, actually, let's do, um, I, I guess it doesn't really matter what year I'm doing this in. Oops, I messed up. Oops, I messed up. Oops, I messed up. Okay, that's why I did that. Whatever, who cares? So, uh, we can see here, this is like the bad inflation happening just this year alone. This is over 5% inflation. Um, if this trend continues in the next five to 10 years with inflation prices, your dollar, you know, your bank, the amount of US dollars you have is like a stock that just plummets. I, I don't want that. I want to live like that, where I'm just earning money for nothing, for something that's worthless. And um, that's just how I see it. Um, the key to wealth is owning things that appreciate in value. Um, so I, I think crypto has the best chance of that, and that's my bet. Hope you guys uh, have a good day, and I'll be coming back with you, come back to you with many more videos. Have a blessed day.